Hello Zionings, my name is Jorge and together with Nico and Alex I make up a team from University of Novi Sad. Today I'm going to present you a project that we started working on a few months ago and which is very much still a work in progress. The main motivation was to build a vector processor as a replacement for accelerators of machine learning algorithms which are a frequent topic in the industry right now. The system is made up from a scalar core, vector coprocessor and caching and buffering system uh, with which access DDR through the AXI full interface which we can see here. Uh, the Scalar core is RV32i ISA and it accesses the DDR to two level cache where the first one is split and directly mapped and the second one is uh, unified and set associative which is parametrizable. The vector core has scheduler and vector control unit which uh, resolve the hazards between the instructions and issue the instructions to vector lanes. The number of vector lanes is parametrizable so you can have uh, as much uh, vector lanes as you want and it's limited only uh, by the resources on chip and besides the parallelization that you get from vector lanes each vector lane uh, has uh, four instruction chaining which means that total par parallelization is number of vector lanes times four um, vectors are stored in vector register file which works on double the clock speed of uh, the rest of the system to enable the, the amount of memory throughput that we need. We are currently using UVM to functionally verify the core and we are still in phase of optimizing frequency so for now it works on 80 to 90 megahertz. For demonstration purposes I'm going to run a simple assembly line code snippet which basically calculates the output of a fully connected layer. I'm going to open uh, the serial terminal and run the code and hope for the best. Okay, another try. Yeah. And here we have it. Uh, these are the results from the hardware and these are the results from the reference model. Uh, they match, so we have uh, hardware which is the same as in simulation. Um, th that's it. Thank you for listening and uh, bye.